scale, Scott? It's nine pounds, 13 and a half ounces, almost 10 pounds, and then we're gonna take away the bowl afterwards. So it looks in- looks Seven pounds, seven probably? Seven pounds, I would say. Yeah, about seven pounds. It's actually, it's, it's pretty monstrous, to be honest with you. Yeah. There we go. And it looks, it looks pretty eerie. It looks pretty red. Everybody, Joel Hanson here, and it's super warm out. Beautiful day here in Kelowna, and here we are at the Mad Mango Cafe to try their laksa challenge. So, a laksa is a very spicy Southeast Asian soup. So, it's a spicy soup challenge. So, I've never had a spicy soup challenge per se. Probably the worst thing to do on a hot day like this, <laughs> but it'll be a lot of fun. So, here's my good friend, Mr. Scott. Should know him well. Mr. Scott Eats, you can check that on his shirt there. And so, yeah, we're gonna have 30 minutes to complete this challenge. It looks interesting. Scott's already done it. In fact, I think he holds the record. So it's pretty hot out here today though. It's not our first challenge today, we'll see what we can do, but it uh, should be good and uh, ready to meeting. Absolutely. We're gonna sweat, but that's okay. Yeah. All right, everybody, so here we are. We're gonna do this laxa challenge. Uh, so it looks pretty, uh, looks pretty spicy. It looks good though, I will say. Lots of eggs, vegetables, shrimp in here, like prawns, a load of noodles, then bean sprouts on top. I'm not, I'm not sure there's anything else, but it looks really delicious. Um, curry chicken, curry chicken too. And there's a lot of actual solid food in here. It's not like your typical soup challenge where it's mostly liquid. This is almost all solid. Yeah. Like, and it's, ten, like I said, 10 pounds. Uh, with the bowl, we're gonna take the weight of the bowl off after, I'm guessing around seven pounds of mostly solid food. So it's gonna be a good spicy challenge. Scott, you ready? I'm ready. All right, 30 minutes. Let's count down the saves from five. Four, three, two, one. one. Good, Good luck. luck. This is, uh, it's apparently it's pretty spicy. I'm not rushing. That's a good Dutch, aren't you? You're Dutch, aren't you? No, I'm Danish. Danish. It's very, um. <laughs> It's very creamy. Mm -hmm. This is spicy. It's almost like uh, maybe coconut milk. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. Hello, everybody. As today we are eating some super spicy soups. Yes, super dang spicy. And I swear that Scott said jokingly. To make it spicier and I really do think they did so let's tune in and see what happens. Still very hot. Yeah, it's, it's spicy and hot. So here we are eating this laxa and I will say undoubtedly this is by far my favorite soup and or noodle challenge I've ever ever done. This thing was delicious. My face is burning. <laughs> I really liked how many solids it had in it. It was basically all solids. The broth was barely even noticeable or visible right until the end. Um, it had eggs, it had lots of meat, these fresh vegetables. Oh, they were, it was delicious. It is spicy. Got some ice, but it's very hot. It also had this really, really nice coconut milk flavor, so it had this kind of creamy aspect to it, which I undoubtedly thoroughly enjoyed. I love the taste of coconut, so that was just like icing on the cake for me. And I can't believe I'm saying this about noodles and a, you know, a soup challenge, because I don't even like noodles normally. Nice crunchy vegetables too. Got a nice crisp wet. I'll go to it. But now that that is established, I will talk a little bit more about the challenge itself and less about how I absolutely enjoyed this challenge. So the challenge itself, you have 30 minutes to complete this laxa. There have been a few winners, also quite a few failures as well. Uh, I think it's a good challenge. It's a kind of, we'll say, intermediate challenge, I would say. The nice thing about it is it's all moist, so it doesn't really require too much liquid from a strategical standpoint. It is quite hot, so, and, and I don't mean that like spicy hot, I mean like temperature hot. So just like any other kind of noodle challenge, you have to be cognizant of that, that you're likely to heat up and kind of, you know, experience that difficulty, especially if you're sitting outside, uh, which we were, because it was, it was a warm day, which I was so thankful for. I love the warm weather, um, but eating this warm soup on a warm day was, well, 
I mean, honestly, it was still enjoyable. Now when it comes to the spice, so the spice was very, very present. It's not the kind of spice that I could really like place a flavor on it. Like, you know, for example, I'm familiar with the taste of jalapenos. I'm familiar with the taste of habaneros. It was just kind of more of a generic, I'm going to say like chili spice, but it was very spicy. I found this very, very spicy. Um, anything like this broth touched was just burning. It does taste good though. Mm. It's nice to have a little bit of seafood in there too, right? It's not just a soup, it's a right. yeah. Now, yes, like admittingly, it's not like a ghost pepper level of heat, but it was spicy enough that like just with the volume of it, it just kept building and building and building um, to where I was very uncomfortable at the end with the level of spice. And like I said, anywhere it touched on my face was burning. Yeah, definitely coconut milk in there. I like the flavor. <clears throat> so you can go and call me a wimp if you want with spice i'm not offended uh, but it was it was i found it definitely spicy and again i think just like the temperature on the hot day etc just kind of exacerbated it all but again undoubtedly really did enjoy this challenge uh, scott had the previous record on this challenge somewhere i want to say about six ish minutes um, now this was not our first challenge of the day so we did not actually you know really expect to beat that record nor were at least you know i nor were either of us really uh, trying to beat that record we were just going for the overall win and, and it turned out to actually you know us enjoying and having a lovely lovely meal this lovely lovely laxa which i definitely have again it's about five minutes in lots of soup i have 17 percent left on my battery so i gotta finish it before that A lot of noodles in here. Good amount. So this Mad Mango Cafe, I guess, is quite a popular spot in Kelowna. And if there are other food tastes like this, I can definitely understand why. I was talking to an older gentleman sitting outside the restaurant, and he said this place is usually just packed. Uh, so very much appreciate them having us in, allowing us to do the challenge. Uh, of course, you know, things are still uh, reopening, or at least at the, at the time of this challenge they were. So very thankful for them to accommodate us doing that. And just, again, the hospitality, they were so excited about the food challenges. Like as soon as Scott entered the restaurant, they were like, oh, it's the champion, it's the champion. Like, you just can't beat that. Like it really aids to the experience when you have a restaurant and establishment that are interested in their challenge, take pride in their food, and you know, they, they see it through. They see it from the start to the finish. It is not only experience and entertainment, but it's highlighting what the restaurant has to offer. So with that, everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Hope you enjoyed. You're definitely gonna see me uh, wince in pain here from the spice shortly, and uh, we'll see what happens. What do you think of the view here in Kelowna? I love it. I really like it. I like it a lot right now. <laughs> I hope I keep seeing that view day after day. Beautiful mountains that is. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe for the next couple days anyways. There's like peaks and valleys. Some boulders. Spicy, y'all. Spicy. Uh.
I've inhaled it. Basically at the same time, right around probably about nine minutes, 20 seconds. Boy, my mouth is just burning me. Ooh. All over my face. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, I tell you that much, that was a, that was a hot one. My nose is running uh, all here burning. Probably dyed red. See how like, see all the red on the sides of the bowl? I don't know what it, it must be like chili oil or something. I, my eye, I feel like I need to wipe my eyes, but I don't want to touch them because... <laughs> End your arm. <laughs> I just don't want to touch them because... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I don't want to get spice in them, but... Anyway, that, it, overall, very tasty. Yeah. I like the coconut milk in it. It melted like creamy. Nice, like creamy soups. Sorry, guys. I can't even see right now. Um, but creamy soup. Just good. The eggs are really nice in it. The chicken was great. Curry chicken. I very much like the flavor. So very spicy, it was very good. I really look forward to wiping my eyes, wiping my face, but not everybody, Mango, Mad Mango Cafe, I really, really did enjoy the taste of this soup. Just spicy, but delicious. Yeah. Hospitality here is great. The owners here are super cool. They're super supportive of the challenges. It helps make the experience and very like a legitimate challenge. Got the win. And we got the win, and I think Joel asked for extra spice as well, so that's why uh, it's a little bit uh, spicier today than I probably was last time. But uh, yeah, it was delicious. So thanks again, guys, for joining. Yeah, it was delicious. Very much did like it. Uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm kind of dying here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. I'm kind of need to wipe my everything because I'm burning. <laughs> but it was delicious. Definitely enjoyed it. Mad Mango Cafe, Kelowna, great place to stop by. One of the best, actually, I'd say the best tasting noodle challenge, like food challenge I've done. I will literally go as far to say that. Uh, so yeah, it was great, really cool. Till next time, hope you enjoyed. Oh, this is one win 127 for me. Ooh. Scott, do you know what win this is for you? 34, maybe. That's impressive, dude. 32. All I right, dude. There. Glad to have Scott with me. Show you more Kelowna. <clears throat> Not everybody, I need to go wipe my face because I'm dying. Till next time, stay up out the hunger, happy eating, don't do what we do. All right, so they have milkshakes here, and so I had to go get, as this is the Mad Mango Cafe, a signature Mad Mango milkshake, which looks delicious. Scott loves to weigh things, so we got one on a scale right here. And it weighs a total of one pound, 2.7 ounces, minus the cup. We're talking over a pound of delicious milkshake here. So, that's pretty mango-y. That's pretty darn good. Mad mango. I like it actually. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's good. It's, it's very refresh, refreshing. Creamy, because like the milk and the ice cream. Yeah. But a very nice, strong mango taste. Mm hmm. This is smooth. Again, yeah, I would say very refreshing. Like a lot of milkshakes, I think, are just like kind of sweet, and creamy. Right. This one is sweet, creamy, and refreshing. That's right. Seems kind of light, too, which is great. Kind of what you would think like a mango would taste like yeah. instead of being yeah. too heavy. It's yeah. nice and uh, light. It's a great way to end off a laxa soup. I this will say, spicy challenge. this is definitely like smoothing that spice. Mm. Like this is delicious. I actually really like this. Yeah. Good call, dude. Yeah, cheers. I like it. And again, huge thanks to the staff here at Mad Mango. Like I said, really supportive food challenges, really cool people. Yes. Scott enters a the restaurant, they're like, oh, it's a champion, it's a champion! Because <laughs> he has the record here. So, I mean, you can't beat that. Like when they know you by your face. And, yeah. and almost your name. That's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> champion Scott's pretty interchangeable. So. I coerced them into calling me champion, is what I did, right? To, just to get you in, I said the champion is right. here, right? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yourself. Yeah, yourself. right, right. Awesome. Anyway, let's get milkshake. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, no. I'm not making a mask, but looks good. My camera's at 3%, so I'm going to stop the video there. But okay. again, it was delicious. I like it. I can't wait to show you Kelowna because I'm going to go see this waterfall. Oh, it's beautiful.
And down here in Kelowna, wherever the heck this place is called, right downtown, there's a beach. <laughs> Just pretty sickening. That's cool. What a view. Like mountains in the background. Water. The sun glistening down. Nice warm day. All right, brother. Very nice marina and hilly winter mountainous background. You who who like a shout of whiskey burning going down burning going down it is very beautiful trees even just look healthy people just look nice and healthy and when you are up on the hill in Kelowna this is what you see you see big valley full of people and trees this is what Kelowna is like, people and trees, and very beautiful. Beautiful trees, people, water. And Okanagan, is it lake or river? Lake Okanagan. Lake Okanagan, very nice, very nice.